Hi, I'm Pat Welsh, your resident gardener, and this is my great-grandson, Archer. We're going to talk about gardening for kids. For instance, even they make little tiny gloves, red ones even, and little spades, just Archer's side. And then we're going to plant cold crops. That means the cabbage family members, such as broccoli. Do you like broccoli, Archer? Yes. This is a purple one, though. Do you like purple? No. Oh, he doesn't like the purple. We should have the green. Next time, we'll plant green. When you plant cold crops, that is, members of the cabbage family, you want to be sure to space them properly. So have a yardstick there and measure. Most of them should be planted just about 18 inches apart. Now, you can plant from seeds, but it's much easier to plant from transplants. Be sure to loosen up the roots. Just fondle them a little like this so they can get out there in the ground and they don't think they're still growing in a pot or in a container. And dig yourself a hole. We've already prepared this ground. We've got to think ahead a little. What if there are cutworms around? Now, I cut this little collar off the inside row of some holiday wrap. You could also use the inside of a toilet paper roll and just cut that into strips and make yourself a little collar. Then, like that, gently hold the leaves together and slip the leaves through the collar and make the collar go right down to right above the roots like that. Press it down a little bit like that. Pull up the leaves. That keeps cutworms out. Now, we're going to plant that right like that to the same height as the surrounding soil. And then with our hands, never with our foot, we push the soil down around it that way it's got its little collar on. We know that's not going to be cut down by cutworms. And then here is a tip that if you do, I promise, you'll have the greatest harvest of cold crops you ever had. Try to get either liquid or solid humic acid. Now this is like a, an ancient compost pile. It's made from <laughs> something that goes back to the dinosaur times or even longer. It's something called lanodite that's on the top of the ground. Measure it according to package directions. Mix it in if you're using a solid type like this. And then pour that around the roots. It's good for all your vegetables and especially your winter vegetables, but particularly for cabbage crops. Now this is the best transplant fluid in the world, and I promise you, vitamin B does nothing. It's even been proved to do nothing, but humic acid is like a miracle. It will make huge roots. What do you plant like that? Plant the next one in a zigzag pattern around the bed.